Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. So, if you're in a coastal community or in, in Hawaii, you may have picked up something like a hobby like surfing. Uh, well, what's the best thing to access the beach? Um, definitely a Vespa or a scooter in general. Uh, if you live in any of the coastal communities here in San Diego, there is no parking at the beaches. And that's kind of the case with most beach areas. Uh, parking is very limited, and of course, the best weapon for parking is always going to be a, a scooter. So, of course, you want to go out surfing. Um, it's a little hard to just to hold a seven and a half foot board like this. You certainly try, not a good idea. Well, I've covered this and featured this in past videos. This is the Carver Moped Surf Rack and it's built heavy duty enough for a scooter. I mean, I know they show a bicycle on there, but this is the moped and scooter specific um, surf rack. And later in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it. Super duper simple to install. It's built very well. It's all made of aluminum and stainless steel components. And if you're living near the beach or you're parking near the beach, you get that uh, salty, sea air that just corrodes everything. Uh, this is a beach scooter here in San Diego. And if you look at some of the hardware, it looks like it may have been riding on the, in the Rust Belt up in Ohio, even though it's here in San Diego. So let me show you how the surf racks work and how this one's installed. This is the most popular setup for the Vespas here in San Diego. Uh, customers will put a flat rack. I've covered many of the different flat racks available for the Vespas, the Piaggio scooters. Uh, you get other scooters like a, a, a Vino, you can get a little a flat rack or Ruckus or anything else. There's usually a rack available. So you need some sort of flat rack. Uh, don't try to wedge this kit underneath the seat. Believe it or not, I just had somebody do that and they ruined the seat. Um, so it's a combination of the surf rack and we have a large SH-40 uh, top case by Shad, and you could essentially see how it's all installed. You got the rack, you got the plate from the surf rack, and then you have the plate from the top case. And the aftermarket top cases work much better than the Vespa top cases. We have done several setups here at Scooter West or Vespa Motorsport with factory top cases. Usually you gotta modify them and drill some holes through them. So this setup works really well. Uh, the way these work is you got these set of hoops and they got the two uh, bungees. And the hoops, they're like a canopy pole. You know, you could actually take them all the way off if you don't want them, but you know, if you had it easy up or any of those kind of things, you pushed a little button in and you could turn the poles up. And this seven six board is definitely probably the largest you'd ever wanna put on a scooter or one of these surf racks. Uh, more intended for a short board, pretty much. You drop the board in like such. These bands are a little bit stretched out on this one. This one's been around for a while, but you pretty much tighten them up and then you would hook them like this. And I can tell you, this isn't something you'd ever hop on the highway just because you got a 300 cc scooter. And this by means, this is the very largest board you'd ever want to put on a rack like this. So let me show you how it's installed. Uh, let's get right to it. If you're looking to buy the surf rack, the Carver surf rack from scooterwest.com, you can find it uh, on our stores and it's surf rack. We always have them in stock. Pretty popular item here in San Diego. So everything needed to install the sur Carver surf rack on your scooter in this moped surf rack is included with the kit. So go to open the box, show you what's in here. You got the pair of uh, hoops and the two mounts that mount to the plate. You have the mounting plate and a hardware kit. Um, so you pretty much have this plate that's pretty universally adaptable for any flat rack or even a folding rack. You could use it on a folding rack, it's a little bit more work. So you got the hardware kit that was zip tied to that whole plethora of good stuff. And you got a, a couple Allen keys as well. So you got some smaller Allen keys larger ones, you got larger eight millimeter bolts, some six millimeter bolts. Um, you got the set of hoops. Go ahead and separate all these. 
And the parts you're gonna need first are gonna be these little half legs. And before you mount this plate in place, go ahead and get these legs. You can see there's a threaded insert in there. So these are already loose, these are the clamps. Fully adjustable, you can set all up however you, however you want it. Uh, you wanna take one of these smaller Allen screws, six millimeter Allen screws, and just go ahead and thread that into this is more or less just to keep those legs from falling out so go ahead and do that with each one of these legs uh, they're both identical uh, and just like the example it's fully adjustable depending on how low you want the board if you want to point it up point it down uh, whatever works best for the board that you're gonna put on this rack you know if you don't tighten it too tight you can still move this around so Got one of those installed, get the second one installed. So go ahead and install the second leg. Pretty much the same hardware. And like I said, just tighten it enough where you can still move them if needed. You know, but they're tight enough to hold it in place. So just like such, with that included Allen key. And then you wanna take this plate. And one thing you wanna miss most of the time on the right side of most automatic scooters, you got the muffler. Um, you can put this out back. I mean, obviously the closer you get it to the center of the scooter, that's better, but different racks work better or worse with this, this setup. It's pretty universal, kind of works with most of them. There is an instruction in there, but um, I'm a robot. I don't really read those instructions too often. I haven't read them for a while. Um, so you get this, like such. So where's the best place? And this is about as far back as I can go before that thing starts hitting that other bar. But the perfect thing is it lines up with a couple of the holes that are on here. Uh, these screws are rather long. You could certainly use shorter uh, six or eight millimeter screws or bolts if you like. Um, you could cut, the, cut them shorter if you need to. And this is where it would be best if I had three hands. So get the screw and the washer all ready to go and kind of just find the best screw. So what I'll do is I'll use these, uh, there's five holes on this. These center two are gonna be the best for this solution right here for putting this on the Vino. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of extra threads coming out on the bottom. This is designed for many different styles of racks. So you get that one started, then go ahead and we could do the second bolt. So we'll go ahead and get the second bolt in place. And look down, make sure it's missing anything that's, you know, the muffler especially, you don't wanna have those, anything make contact with any of the moving parts on the scooter. So get those all the way down, make sure everything's square and looks good. Um, of course, it's all adjustable. If you don't like the position that you set up in, you can always come back and move things around. So. so now that you have that in place, you have the pair of uh, hoops. And oftentimes, maybe you're just not riding with a surfboard. It's winter, you're not surfing. You can just take these off and leave them off altogether. But the best thing to do is just you can turn them, leave them on the scooter and have them turned in. Um, so you can see they got the button just like an easy up or old you know, like canopy pose. So you can do something like this, snap like that. And then if you're gonna put it in use, push the button in and then snap that in place. So we'll do this, put the second one. And the idea here is you have these bungees. You wanna test fit it with your board. If these bungees are um, too loose or too tight, there is this Allen key right here, you know, on this cap. And you pull this out, and the idea here is you can move this nut, knot or you can add a second knot if you need to make it tighter. Um, say if you want the bungee a little tighter or as it stretches, and then you just go ahead and put the cap back on. And reset the set screw. So that's the smallest Allen key that's included with the kit. 
So you can see that one's very loose. Say if you had a very uh, girthy board, real wide board, you'd want them loose. If you had something pretty small and tidy, you would uh, want to tighten those straps up. And of course, you could change the angle of these, you know, like such, you know, how, whatever works best. And once you establish what, what the best setting is, you want to go ahead and clamp these um, pair of clamps down. So just go ahead and tighten these down and then they'll stay in position. And when you're not using it, just quickly do a little, just like such, and they're out of the way, especially if you're lane splitting or something. Don't want them hanging up with the cars that you're splitting lanes with. So about as easy as it gets for a do-it-yourself installation. If you surf, you own a scooter, you got to have a Carver surf rack on your scooter. Um, it's a game changer if you're going to the beach. And of course, on top of this plate, you could put a top case and that's perfect because maybe you need to store a wetsuit. Maybe you put your helmet in there after you're, you, you know, wherever you park, you want to have it secure and locked down versus putting something in your helmet on the mirror or hanging it off the scooter. Uh, you're able to lock more contents down versus what you have under the seat. So if you're on one of the coasts where you surf or in Hawaii or somewhere else, Indonesia, uh, maybe this is the perfect item for you. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. If you're looking to buy the Carver Surf Rack from us, you can find it on the Scooter West web store and just search Surf Rack. Nice, easy item to search, search for. Um, if you're buying this and you're in the middle of Texas, I don't know, I guess that's cool. Uh, until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport. So not making fun of Texas, but from what I understand, I guess in Waco there is a wave pool. So maybe you want to ride from your house with your surfboard or your boogie board to that wave pool and catch some surf just in the middle of the country. Pretty awesome technology these days.